Hello everybody and welcome back to another class. Today is going to be a shorter class where we focus on our lower region, really getting into the hip sockets and the glutes and just lengthening, strengthening, elongating, allowing for more flexibility and mobility all in this region. So we won't go very far, we'll begin at the top of our mats. Beginning at the top of our mats, we're going to have the ankles touch or as close as possible, have them touch. Inhale, arms go up and above head. Exhale as we forward fold. Bending the knees, tucking the head into the knee. Inhaling, halfway lift, looking at the nose, option to be on the mat or on the shins. Exhale bringing ourselves back down. Let's step back into a plank, moving through our first Chaturanga Dandasana, squeezing the arms, the elbows back and down, inhaling, upward dog, exhaling, looking at the navel, downward dog. Staying here, five breaths to begin. Inhaling, looking forward, bending the knees, light step forward. Inhale, halfway lift, gaze going towards the nose. Exhale, forward fold. And then we'll roll ourselves on up. Let's do that two more times, inhaling, upward. Exhaling as we dive down. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, back down. Stepping back into plank, hold here. Move through your chaturanga, knees, chest, chin. Inhaling, upward dog. Exhaling, downward dog. Another five breaths here. Inhaling forward, bending the knees, stepping, halfway lift, exhale, over the legs, roll yourselves back up last time, fingers touch, exhale, swan dive, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, back down, maybe stepping or jumping into plank, coming on down. Inhaling, halfway lift. We're inhaling, upward dog. Exhaling, downward dog. Five breaths here. Looking forward, bending the knee, maybe jumping. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, over the legs, coming back up. Let's come to Samasthi Tahi, and then we're gonna move into Sun Salutation B, moving through that to come into a chair pose, inhaling, arms go up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, back down. Moving through that Chaturanga Dandasana, knees, chest, chin, or feet. Inhaling, halfway. <laughs> Exhaling, on the way back. Let's step the right foot forward, pivoting the left. Inhale. Exhale, sinking into the front leg. Swan diving on down. Moving through that flow. 
Exhale. Left foot. Pivot the right. Inhale. Exhale. Come on down. Let's go through that chaturanga. And then we'll meet. And downward dog. Five breaths here. And we have one more. Looking forward, bending, hopping. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Come back into chair. And then come to standing. Let's do that one more time. Arms go down. Inhale. Exhale, Ooh. forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, back down. Let's jump on back and move through that flow. Inhale up. Exhale. Down. Right foot comes forward, left foot pivots. Inhale. Exhale. Making sure everything is squared and centered. Coming back down, moving through that flow. Exhale back. Let's bring the left foot forward, pivot the right, inhale, exhale down. Swan diving and moving to that vinyasa. Exhale, back to downward. Five breaths here before we find our way to the mat. Rolling forward, bending the knees, maybe hopping or stepping. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale down. Coming back in the chair pose. Fingers touch. Exhale. Coming to standing. Having a fun way to come down to the mat. Sitting up tall, bending the knees. And then coming all the way down. So let's roll on forward. Coming onto our knees, coming to tabletop, or do it in a way that's a lot easier for you. Knees will be underneath the hips, wrist right underneath shoulders, and then we'll bring our right knee into the chest, and then cross it in front of the left as we allow the left leg to scoot back. Staying here, sitting up tall. This is pigeon pose. Staying here first making sure we're turning that left hip down towards the mat so we can feel that sensation, that stretch along the hip groin right there. Staying here. Option to walk the right foot out a little bit more. The goal is to be able to come to parallel but we want to work with what our body is uh, giving us currently. So just staying at your deepest point. The point uh, where there's no pain, just maybe slight discomfort. Really turning that left hip back and down. Inhaling, sitting up tall. Exhaling as we forward fold here. The goal is still the same, keeping that left hip pointing down towards the mat as we try to do a countering action here with the right hip scooching back, left hip scooching back or scooching forward and down. Really engaging the breath here. 30 more seconds, allowing the left groin to be stretched and maybe that right glute to be stretched as well.
coming on up. Let's swing that back leg around, coming to a double pigeon here. So the left foot goes on top of the right knee. And the goal is to have this knee be touching this foot, but we all need some work. <laughs> and this is my work here. So let's breathe and sit up tall, allowing our lovely muscles to release with the breath. Making sure to have both feet flexed here as well. Two more breaths. Opening the eyes if they were closed and then slowly unwinding ourselves. Maybe assisting the left foot to come undone, swinging right behind us. And then we'll come back into a downward dog. Pedaling out, left goes forward, then right. And we'll come back to tabletop, setting up for the left hand side. So left knee comes up and over the right, and the right leg goes back, sliding all the way down. Again, hip goes down towards the mat, and this left leg is pulling back as much as possible so we can get that squared hip type of uh, alignment. Sitting up tall, checking in with the body, where are you feeling it? And then again, option to walk the feet out a little bit more if you are in need of it, <laughs> or if you feel you can advance the position. My left side is a little bit uh, less flexible than the right side, so need a little bit more uh, TLC on this side. Give me two more breaths sitting up. We'll come on down to our forearms or onto a block and just rest here another 30 seconds. Inhale, brings you up and out of it. Let's swing that right foot forward. Stack it on top of the left, flex those bad boys. Sit up tall, and then again, we just allow our hips and our glutes to fall as they may, breathing in and out, and letting our bodies do the rest. Maybe closing the eyes, helping you to relax. Blinking those eyes open, using our hands to assist the leg being thrown back. Let's push our way back into downward dog. Ooh, I'm feeling great. How are those legs feeling, those hips, the glutes? We'll walk our feet towards the middle of the mat, turning, and then we'll spread open the legs, one last stretch, just to get those inner thighs, the groin, and then we are done. So inhale for me, standing up tall, adjusting your leggings. Arms go out to the side. Inhale, looking up. Exhale as we roll ourselves down. Trying to bring the crown of the head 
towards the mat. If this is too easy, shortening the stance helps to advance the posture. Let's stay here, 30 seconds. Option to hold on to the legs, using them as a lever to kind of bring you in, or you can walk the hands behind as well. Let's do this three more breaths. Sliding those hands back in front or unraveling yourselves from your ankles. We'll come to a halfway lift. And then we'll grab our waist here. Exhale, all the way up. Heel toe, and then we'll come on down to seated. All right, guys, that was a quick lower body flow. We were able to build some heat within the body and then go ahead with lengthening our lower extremities. Hopefully your hips and glutes are thanking you right now along with those inner thighs. But this is a video that can be repeated once or twice maybe holding the positions a little bit longer and going from there. But as always, guys, I really appreciate you flowing with me and I'll be seeing you in the next class. Have a great day. Namaste.